hey marshmallows welcome back to another regular video um where i just share my unwarranted thoughts and opinions what do y'all think of the hair what do y'all think of the hair did y'all notice the hair color got a little darker nobody really mentioned it because it's still kind of like a shade of ginger it's just a lot more darker um what y'all think i straightened it all by myself y'all i haven't been to a salon in so long and that's because i don't trust other people with my hair but um without further ado today's video is going to be about procrastination and why i think it's a mental illness um my experience with it which has been a long-term experience um so yeah i also do tarot readings because if y'all don't know i am a self-proclaimed psychic okay if you think i'm lying go watch my other tarot readings and tell me your thoughts all right link down will be in the description for all my services they are seven dollars eight dollars literally cheap go get you a reading so you can figure out what to do with your life if you're confused money love ancestors ghosts that may be following you because i have one for that link down will be in the description below also you guys i have decided so i was on live i think like the day before yesterday and i officially decided to semi move my platform to sunroom because if y'all don't know um this is just for people that care um youtube not trying to pay me no more they're not trying to pay me girl because there was like a misunderstanding nothing serious happened i just couldn't change my account type they thought it was like some fraudulent shit and so i have to wait 40 days and 40 nights aka a goddamn month in order to get my channel on Oop, sorry anyway yeah so i have to wait damn near a month to get my channel monetized again and it's no shade you guys i love doing what i do but i'm not trying to do it for free like times is getting tough y'all i'm gonna still upload videos but like certain videos will not be on this platform especially videos i want to give real raw opinion is gonna be in on sunroom so check that out i will be uploading a video today on there so yeah that's gonna be for the girlies okay link down will also be in the description below and in my comments i think but without further ado let's continue so procrastination y'all i've been struggling with procrastination for a majority of my life but specifically um ever since like middle school especially early high school like procrastinate procrastination has cost me my mental health well basically if you guys don't know because i'm into psychology i've studied it for like a year um in school and in college um procrastination is not itself a mental illness but it is a prosecutor for how do you say that? Like it basically hints at a mental illness. It is a side effect of a mental illness. So say you suffer with depression, which I suffer with depression. You may also have procrastination, you know, issues, which that is a side effect of depression or ADHD. That is also a side effect. I mean, procrastination is a side effect of ADHD. If you understand what I'm saying, I don't have ADHD, but I know I am um dealing with depression on, on and off and yeah you guys procrastination has cost me everything um especially being a content creator you guys i feel a little bit delayed and a little bit sad because i feel like i'm not maximizing my platform like for example when i disappear on youtube for like a couple days a couple weeks like sometimes it really is mental health a lot of it though is procrastination it's so bad like i keep i'll keep telling myself like oh what one thing my, what makes my procrastination even worse is when i tell myself like i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow tomorrow never comes girl like it never gets done never gets done and i'm just like oh well like i'll always have tomorrow girl i'll be sounding like annie tomorrow tomorrow i love you like girl what so yeah you guys like literally even in high school there were times where i could have gotten an assignment done but i didn't get it done for no other reason than i just procrastinated i convinced myself i would do it later and i didn't do it later right so i'm gonna be giving some tips on how to battle procrastination how to make it get less and less because from what i know there is no cure to procrastination other than product productivity so let me tell you guys what i do to combat my procrastination number two number one is stop telling yourself it can be done later on that's what a lot of people who suffer with procrastination do it's always oh, okay i can just do it later no you need to almost put yourself in a position where it needs to be done right at that second because what i like to do i wait till the very last minute to do something because i keep 
reassuring myself that it can always get done at a later time. No, sometimes you have to stress yourself out a, a, a little bit, right? That's number one. Number two, constantly remind yourself of the tasks you need to be done. So for example, watering my plants. I've been procrastinating that for like a week. I haven't done it, but today I am going to do it right after I turn off this camera because I constantly tell myself like, oh, it's not that important. It could get done tomorrow, right? I've literally killed like, and it's no shade, but I neglected like five plants because I kept telling myself it'll get done tomorrow. It'll get done tomorrow. The plants ended up dying, child, but not this time around. All right. So number two, keep a journal slash a, um, a calendar so you can write down things you need to do for the day. Right. Um, one thing that helps me is I color code. So things that I need to get done is usually like in red, blue, things that can wait is in like green, yellow. So that really helps, um, writing down, just setting yourself a structured um, list of things you need to do a bucket list of things you need to get done that day so that you prioritize it throughout the day right constantly reminding yourself something that also helps with procrastination because I'm not gonna lie especially after I graduated high school my procrastination got worse because when you're in school you know you have structure you know you got to be in class by this time you gotta you gotta give in the homework by this time like it's very easy but when you're an adult and you don't really have help you have nobody to motivate nobody can motivate you but yourself um where was i going with this yeah ever since high school my procrastination has gotten even worse so something that i do is i set alarms throughout the day so for example it is currently 2 59 my next alarm would be um 3 p.m my next alarm would be 3 30 and the reason why i have alarms throughout the day it's to basically get me back on track if my mind has wandered somewhere else if i got distracted to let me know all right this is what we're doing today let me make sure i do this by the by five o'clock right for example if y'all know i have a business um z that is my psychic tarot reading business um and i have been struggling with procrastination in that you know i'm not gonna lie and so i do set alarms for that purpose as well so journaling constantly reminding yourself don't make excuses that's another one never stop making excuses all right, there's no excuse as to why I haven't watered my plants yet. There literally is no excuse other than I've just been quote unquote lazy and procrastinating that task. Okay, laundry, folding laundry. Like for example, I gotta put my clothes away. I literally had did my laundry and my clothes are still in the bas basket. So once I get off this, I will be doing that as well. But y'all comment down below, like what are y'all do y'all procrastinate or is it on an extreme level like out of 10 how bad are you because me i'm like a i'm a 10 i'm an 11 like that's how bad my procrastination can be sometimes um also sleep lack of sleep may also be a reason why you will procrastinate because obviously if you didn't get enough rest you'll be fat fat you'll be feeling fatigued throughout the day and you won't have the energy or the strength to do what, you, what it is you need to get done, all right? So it's all about truly holding yourself accountable. And yeah, I just think procrastination should be its own mental illness. Um, from what I've seen, like no, there hasn't really been any like assigned cure other than just changing your behavioral patterns and your thought process when it comes to procrastinating and getting things done, okay? Don't say you'll get it tomorrow. Okay, that's a safety blanket. Never say you'll get it done tomorrow. Say I'm going to do it today. Don't even say I will. You also have to pay attention to how you say things as well. This is why I try to stop saying I will do it. I will get it done. No, I am doing it. I, I am going to get it done. You know what I mean? It's more active, I guess. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of my video, y'all. How bad are you guys with procrastination? How long have y'all been struggling with it? Is it as serious as me? Is it not? Let me know. And yeah, you guys, um, procrastination is a mental illness. So beware. I'll see y'all on the next one. And yeah, you know, I just think something else. Um, my procrastination has, definitely has cost me a little of my success. You know, I am not you know, maximizing my platforms like I should. And there is no real reason. And when I say maximizing my platforms, I'm talking about uploading every single day. I'm doing it on YouTube now. But as you guys notice, I am a bit inconsistent.
that is the procrastination and a little bit of mental health but yeah like i said let me know what y'all thought about this video let me know what you guys think of my hair it's so cute right i know how to flat iron my hair y'all i could do a tutorial because sometimes i see people flat iron their hair at home a lot of people don't know how to do a silk press at home and girl it took me years it took me years to finally figure out how to do it so let me know but anywho yeah y'all go look at my son at my sunroom because look i love social media i love doing what i do um but like i gotta get paid for it too all right gas prices is going up inflation is crazy and look i'm not trying to work for free okay so yeah i'll see you guys on the next one bye